In this video, we're going to show you how to install Boink on your computer. The installation process is quite simple and will take less than five minutes. First thing we'll do is open a web browser and go to boink.berkeley.edu. Scroll down and select Download Boink. Click the Download Boink button to start the download and allow downloads if prompted. Once the download is complete, open the download. Double-click the Boink installer and accept or say yes to all the default options. When the installation is complete, the Boink Manager will launch automatically. It will take a minute or two to fully load. When it does, it will ask you to attach a project. Pick a project you'd like to contribute to. In this example, we are using Amicable Numbers. If you have already registered at the project, you can put in your information here or register with a new email address. You should use the same email address for every project to keep things simple and enable you to have stats show on sites like Boink Stats. If you register for a new account, it may open a browser window to finish your registration on the project's website. Some projects may require you to verify your email address before completing your account creation. You can also sign up for a team if you'd like, but it's not required. Back in the Boink Manager, you should know that Boink has an advanced view, which gives you a lot more control over Boink and information about what it's working on. You can access it by going to the View menu and selecting Advanced View and can switch back to Simple View anytime you'd like. In Advanced View, you can see the projects you're attached to and the tasks they are working on. You can attach to as many projects as you like. The resource share area shows how much of your computational power you are dedicating to each project. There's also a fun statistic tab which will show you how much work you've completed and how much credit you've earned for that work. Keep in mind that each project assigns credit differently, so you can't compare credits across different projects. One credit on project A may represent twice the work as one credit on project B. The first thing you'll want to do upon setting up Boink is set up your computing preferences. These tell Boink how and when to use your computer. You can modify these settings in the Boink Manager client via the project website or via an account manager like BAM. Any settings set directly in the Boink Manager will override web-based settings. 100% CPU usage on 100% of CPUs is a fine setting on desktops, but laptops may overheat, so you may want to pick a more conservative 50% of CPUs. Most users will want to select Suspend when computer is in use, so Boink doesn't slow down your computer while you're using it. If you see an option to suspend GPU computing while in use, select it as well. If you have any troubles with Boink, the person helping you will likely want to see your Boink event log. You can find it under the Tools menu. That's it! Your Boink client is all set up for crunching.